What's up, Skate Fam? Welcome to D Skates. In this episode, I want to talk to you guys about a roller skating related topic, and that is toe stops. Toe stops come in all sizes. Sometimes they're really large, sometimes they're smaller, but no matter what, pretty much every pair of skates or set of plates that you buy for skates are going to come with a set of toe stops. Now, usually when I get toe stops, I just get rid of them. And it's because I want that range of motion that they take up free. I wanna be able to get really high up on my toes. And I know a lot of people who are into rhythm skating, jam skating, and enjoy dancing, and spending a lot of time skating on their toes feel like the toe stop is really just a hindrance. Now, it has its place, and that's a completely different video. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the coolest jam plugs I've ever had. Anybody who likes jam plugs knows that the jam plug market is really limited. You almost can't find more than just a handful of different types of jam plugs. Powerdyne makes their own. Adam makes a similar jam plug to the Powerdyne plug called the Bionic. I think the most commonly known one is the Fomac jam plug. Pretty sure those are made by SureGrip. SureGrip also makes a more nylon-ish jam plug called the Rock. And also Vanilla has two different types of plugs. I actually didn't know that they had two types of plugs until I did this little search here. And then kind of standing out from the crowd, we have the Iris jam plugs, which I am not a fan of. I think that retailers let these things sit on their shelves for ages. And whenever they finally come to you, they're old and brittle and they tear up really easily. I've owned about four or five pair and every single one of them tore up within two or three sessions. They just completely ripped apart. So I'm not a fan of these things at all. They're cool because they feel like toe stops but really small, but they don't last. So one day, I was thinking to myself, man, I just wish there were more options for jam plugs. I jumped onto this Facebook group that I'm a member of called Skate Addiction. Really cool people in there, lots of knowledge. There's thousands of members. I really recommend it. Actually, I'll leave a link in the description and you can, you can check this group out yourself if you're interested. But I stopped in and dropped a thread. I was looking at buying a roll line plate at the time, which I ended up getting. Those plates take a metric toe stop, which is a problem because metric jam plugs are, you almost can't find them. So I stopped in and said, hey, what's a solution for this? And in the course of this thread, I was pointed to a man named Robert Burt who runs a website called Jammers Lighted Plates. Don't ask me about the plates. I don't know anything about them. You'll just have to go and check the website out. I'll have a link in the description below. He makes these really neat, clear jam plugs and these are not really, I mean, they're very hard and slippery, so they're, they're basically just for looks. But I got in contact with Robert and I got him to send me a few sets of plugs. I got one set for myself in metric and one set in 5 sixteenths threading, the large standard threading for my girlfriend's skates. And then I got a white set that are larger and made specifically for sliding. As soon as I got these things, I noticed that the craftsmanship on them is really excellent. And the threading, I mean, it screws perfect. I've had trouble with the, especially the Fomac plugs before, screwing into the plate properly. They feel really hard and durable. They're really shiny and I love the way they look. And just before I was getting ready to make this video, he sent me a set of these that I showed you in the beginning that are just, they're, they're so cool. It's like a, kinda like, like a tortoise shell finish, but purple and white. What do you call this? He called it, he, the package is labeled purple haze. So how do these things act? Well, I have not slid on the colored ones. They feel like they're made from the same material, so I would imagine that it's gonna be a similar experience, but the white ones that are made for sliding and spinning are really, really slippery. I actually did a couple of little experiments with them where I just put my toe down at 
a normal speed going backward just to see if it would stop me and it didn't. I slid basically from one end of the rink to the other and felt virtually no friction. So they're very, very slick. I do recommend them for sliding and spinning with both feet down. I don't really recommend trying to spin on one toe with them. I tried that a good handful of times and I never felt quite comfortable with it. I always felt like I was, my skate was gonna slip out from under me if I just even rotated on the wrong point, even just a little bit. So if that's what you're looking for in a jam plug, maybe these are not the best. I don't know, I might just need to take some time with them. But on this first test here, I didn't really feel confident doing that. Since I got these things, I posted a couple of pictures and a lot of people have asked me to make content around them, to tell them where where they can get a set, because they come in, in various colors. I mean, there, there are a lot of, I think there's 20 or 21 different colors that the clear ones come in. I was not able to find these marble tortoise shell looking finished ones on his website, but I know that he sells them, so maybe you can Maybe you can email him for them. Really cool stuff, I just wanted to make a quick video and talk about these for a minute. In my opinion, it's really nice to have these independent product makers in the skate industry that close the, the little product gaps that large companies leave open where they make cheap and junky products just so that you have something and then they say, oh, well, that's, that's good enough. And if you're like me and you like lots of colors, and you have custom skates that are made in varying colors or uh, some crazy Crayola job of a roller skate and you want some plugs to match, maybe you could buy a few sets of these and wear different sets on varying days or you can match them with your clothes and it, I don't know, it's just really cool to have so many color options and actually have a product that looks nice, that's shiny and has a good finish and it looks like it was made by someone who really cares about what they do. So again, I'm gonna link the website, jammerslightedplates.com. I'm gonna link this website in the description below. If you're interested in checking out these plugs or you wanna get a set for yourself, that's how you do it. Thank you so much for coming. Make sure that if you like this video and you feel like you got a little bit of value from it or you learned something, scroll down, click the like button, click the big red subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications whenever I release new videos. Got lots of skating content coming. Actually gonna talk about. Don't forget that I started a tech channel slash gaming channel. I will leave a link to that in the description below as well. You can go check that out if that's what you like. And I will see you the next time I lace up.